come. I don't understand this thing. Why there's this thing that happened to you? You can be discouraged when you see things are expected to be like this. They come like this. You understand? You can be discouraged. But I want to tell you that there will be no problem in your children. Amen. You hear me? Amen. There will be no problem in your children. Amen. Something's happening, did you? Huh? Something is coming up. Something is coming up. Yes, yeah, I'm so just waiting to finalize the process. It's going to happen Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Caroline Quartan. I'm from Pretoria. I once prophesied today that uh, there was a challenge with one of my sons, and I mustn't feel discouraged. And I confirm to be true because God has answered our prayers. So it's something that is coming up, and I thank God for locating me, and I believe that the challenge that we experienced, God has settled them, and I thank you in Jesus' name. You won't have kidney problem. You hear me? Yes. You won't have kidney problem because you feel sharp pain. Yes. Eh? Yeah, very sharp. Sharp pain she very on sharp. your side here. Yes. So you are free. You are Thank free. you. Hey, Kalidimedi Sagalis Lamatala Morana Lamapulusi, Jesus Christo and Nazareth. from Apostle Makananisa. On Lahore. Obona ke tlo ba le pro ke ke na le probleme ya di kidney marbe anong hands rape afezan rapella are probleme eu kis ka tlo le ke tshenya ka yona modimo e felicite and then ke le boha modimo ka seo probleme ya di kidney since the first time he ke tla mo mo charis ka 2011 Kidney So for a time now. Yeah. After after so many years. Yes. Yeah. No, get confident for Mudim. Amen. I want to pray for you. These people must leave you. You hear me? These people must leave you. Amen. You are beginning to see something that is not good. Amen. Eh? Amen. Uh, these people must leave you. I just want to touch you here. Uh, this thing must stop today. You are free. You understand? When I see your mom lying down like this, you understand? No yes. one will kill your mom. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. No, allow your mom to come and see me. Yes, she's coming. She's coming. Yeah. I'm going to pray for her. Her enemies will fall. Amen. Amen. She, she started to have a problem with her legs. Yes, she was eh? with the doctor on Friday. On afternoon. Friday. Yes. It started with the legs. It goes back to her neck, her uh, back here. Yes. Eh? She told you. Yes, she did tell me. About her back. Yes. And her leg. Yes. So this will stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shake it with me. It is done. It is done. I'll pray for your mom when she comes here. I'll pray for your mom. You must not give up. You hear me? Yes, daddy. Yeah, there's something that is about to happen. Yes. That will really pull your spirit very down. Okay. Do you understand? Okay, daddy. You hear me? Yes, daddy. Uh, God will open a door for you. Amen. Uh, every year, you will have a better result. You hear me? Yes, did. Yes, uh, though it was difficult for you to study. Yes. But you are going to be successful. Amen. Touch it, touch it. Yes. I don't understand what is happening to your womb. Let me just come. This lady. My, my name is Mpulukeng Zikali from um, Winnie Mandela, Tembisa. Uh, the prophecy that man of God has given to me is very true. 
I faced uh, difficulties during the time of my exams. I was writing my final exam. I faced some challenges, but today I thank God that uh, I'll, I'll succeed. Re God reveals to redeem. Thank you. I don't understand what is happening to your womb. Let me just come. This lady. Come. This lady. God loves you. Amen. You feel pains. Things are moving in your stomach. Amen. Eh? Amen. Is it true? Amen. Is it true? Amen. Yes or no? Amen. Is it true? Yes. Eh? Yes. Where's your husband? Let him come. Brother, are you aware of what I'm saying? Yes, I'm aware. What is that you are aware? Uh, before she was pregnant, she was feeling pain. There were pains, pains, pains. Yes. And I heard that this can make it to lose the baby. Yes. You understand? Mm. Because there was a time this thing happened before. It is true. Yeah? It's true. Where she saw the blood coming out. So she cannot lose this baby. Amen. Amen. So you are blessed. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My name is Pichunia Ngobeni from Pretoria at Rajvil. The man standing beside me is my husband. Uh, I would like to confirm what the man of God says. Uh, it is true. The uh, man of God said uh, there is a problem in my womb and something is moving. So because I, I was so confused. I didn't understand uh, at the beginning, but after I realized that indeed what you have said is true, uh, I was having a problem after giving birth 2019 to my second born. Uh, I also, the uterus also came out from me and then I started to have uh, pains in my wombs. So something was moving in my womb. So I was always complaining to my husband, Kore, maybe I have kidney problems, I don't know, but I have pains, so I confirm it to be true, so I like to thank God for what he has done, for delivering me, and before I came, I also told him, Kore, today God is going to deliver me, hallelujah, I glorify God for what he has done today, I confirm it to be true, thank you Lord, thank you Jesus for delivering me. Stand, I see you praying, come. If you carry on praying like this, God will end up using you. Amen. Rise up, rise up, rise up. Because you are praying. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes, yes it's, it's true. true. Eh? It's true. It's true. I pray yeah. a lot, but yes. things are not moving in my life. Nothing is happening, but God doesn't want to bless him. He wants him to pray. Amen. Uh, don't pray for blessing anymore. Yes. You understand? Amen. Uh, thank God that God wants to use you. Amen. Thank you. And Lord. he will use you. Are you hearing me? Run to me. You. Run. Yeah, when I'm praying for him, I'm hearing that I don't, there's no father. Yeah. There's no father. So many people are like this because they don't have fathers. Uh, God bless you. Tendo, you can carry on. God bless you. Clap it. Brother, I want to ask you concerning the issue of your father. Where is your father? <laughs> my father in Sochanguvi. You he, stay with him? No, I stay with my because mom. Because I'm here, there's no father. Yes, it's true. Make I, me your father. Make me your father. Thank you. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. I heard I must. Yes. Uh, you understand? I, heard this um, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Mason Mashaba, and today, as I was sitting on the far right of the stage, the man of God located me. He said to me, "Brother, come here." I don't know why, but I see you praying. I see you praying, and I went and I said, "Yes, man of God, I'm a prayerful person. I pray, but things are not moving in my life." 
and he said to me, continue to pray because God wants to use you. And I said, yes, man of God. And he said, stop praying for blessing, but pray that God to use you. I said, yes, man of God, I'll do so. And then he prayed for me. I fell down. As I stand up, he said to me, brother, I see, where is your father? I said, my father, he stays in Soshanguve. And he said, because I see you not with your father. I see you not staying with your father. I said, yes, it's true. And then uh, he said, don't worry. I want you to make me my father. And I smiled. I said, yes, yes, man of God, I will do. Because I think he saw that I have been longing to have a father figure in my life to talk to. And yeah, to cut the long story short, he saw that I needed a father. So I thank the Lord for all this prophetic word. Thank you. The brother of square jacket, uh, the, there's a disappointment he went through. Yeah, it's true. Uh, from a woman. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's true. Uh, this is a disappointment. Uh, this is, it was very bad. Yeah, it's very true. But the last minute. Yeah, it's very uh, true. Uh, brother, Amen. Uh, you need to forgive if you want to move forward. Amen. You hear what I said? Yeah, I hear you. Huh? I hear you. Because it took you a long time to understand this. Yeah, it's very true. Huh? Yeah, I was hurt. You were very much hurt. Very, very hurt. I, I release you. Amen. Look at me. In Jesus' name. Uh, maybe if I release you like this, God will use you. God bless you. Okay. Greetings. Uh, my name is Evidence Ndlovu. I'm originally from Limpompo in Malamlele. So today I came here in church and as I was in church, the apostle located me and uh, he, he spoke to me concerning the spirit of disappointment that there is a, a woman who disappointed me in my life and I confirmed that to be true. And that is something that happened uh, the beginning of this year, around January. So the thing was giving me a, a problem and um, I was struggling to let it go. And as he located me, he told me that uh, if I want my life to move on, if I want things to go well in my life, I must forgive. And then he prayed for me and then I can confirm that what he has been saying, it is true. And um, uh, I, I think I found a closure now on what to do with this situation that was bothering me concerning the disappointment uh, that I went through this year. Right now I feel light because um, as I, I said that I was struggling to forgive and let it go, it was keeping on bothering me. I was like meditating on it each and every day and even the person who did it, I could not be in good terms with the person. But now as he, he, he spoke to me after prayer, I feel light and uh, right now I even feel like it will be easy for me to talk to the person and even tell the person that I have forgiven you and to let it go so that I can move on with my life. Okay,